right, so that is the perfect example of how it runs when your main jet is clogged up. So if the pilot jet is fine, then it'll idle fine. But if the main jet is clogged, or partially clogged, then it's basically not going to run above idle unless you keep the choke on. So what I did is I just started back up at idle and ran it and cut the fuel off. And that way it could take most of it out of the bowl there. Now all I have to do is take this one. I'm not even going to take the carburetor off. I'm just going to take this one bolt right here off. And then the bowl will drop down and that will give me access to the uh, jet. If, you know, this was hard to get to in a bad spot or a tight spot, you'd want to take the whole carburetor off. That way you can work on it on the bench. But I'm just going to drop the bowl, and I'm only going to pull out the main jet. That's it. All right, if you look right here, it's a little hard to see because it's a little dark. But right in the center of that circle where the bolt actually attaches is the main jet. So I'm going to get a flat screwdriver and take that out. All right, I'm actually using the camera as a way of seeing this also so make sure you fit a screwdriver that fits in well and this screwdriver looks perfect so I got the jet out this is it right here and if you look you can see it's got a small bit of light going through it so it's not all the way clogged, which is why you can still use it if you choke it all the way. If you look from this direction, you can see, kind of, it's hard to pick up on the camera, but it's white crusty stuff around the inside. That hole should actually be much bigger, it should actually be closer to the diameter of what that hole is on the outside, not that tiny little dot. So there's a couple ways to clean this. Um, you can get the little drill bits set. Uh, this was on Amazon for like 15 bucks. And this goes down quite small. This, these drill bits are much smaller than the hole uh, in the jet right there. So you could do it with that. Harbor Freight has a cheap ultrasonic cleaner. Does a great job. That would do the same thing. You just put this in there with a the cleaning solution and leave it for a while and it'll be clean when you come back. Or, if you have a really strong solvent you want to use, like, uh, think of goof off or something like that, you could actually just leave it in a cup of that overnight and it would probably eat away most of that and make it uh, good again. So, I'm going to... You can also run wires through it if you have a small diameter wire. Uh, I'm going to push a one of these drill bits through it, just spin it by hand, not using it in a drill, and uh, get it cleaned up. And I'll show it to you after how much bigger the hole is after I'm done. All right, so let me show you what I've done so far. Uh, I actually started with these really small ones in the 70s, and they went right through. And then I progressively worked my size up bigger and bigger. And what you can do is you can kind of tell uh, when you are not going through the crud and you start cutting into the actual metal. And so this jet is a 66. Now I have a 65 out because ever since this is new, it has definitely been a bit cold natured. And if you go with a slightly larger size, basically um, you're making your jet slightly bigger which is going to put more fuel in. And being that the snowblower, it's a snowblower, so it's constantly started when it's cold, really cold outside, um, I'm going to go ahead and upsize it by one. So I actually was able to get a 66 through just by hand, just twisting it with my fingers. You see how nice and round that hole is now. Um, quite a bit bigger than it was. And if you look right here, all of that is crap that was stuck in this jet. And... You wouldn't think it's that much, but it, it definitely is. It's hard to see with the camera, but it's pretty clean now. So I'm going to actually use this miniature little drill chuck, which I also got on Amazon for 10 bucks. Um, I just have it in this little hand thing right here. And I'm going to actually bore this out to a 65 instead of a 66. That way, 
uh, I should have a little bit easier time starting it when it's really cold outside. Alright, so drill it through and now I can do it by hand. Just gonna make sure I don't leave any burrs on it. So now I've changed my jet from a 66 to a 65. Give me just a tad bit more fuel when I'm running. I'm gonna go ahead and Spray this with some cleaner and slap it back in real quick and then I'll show you how it runs. Alright, moment of truth. I'm going to turn the fuel back on. Confirm it's not leaking. Looks good to me. Uh, show you. It's cold, choke on, bite them down. There we go. Hit the button with my hand. Still cold. There you go. That's with the choke on at idle. There's idle. Choke off. Idle. Running good. Just like it's supposed to. Turn the choke on. She starts spitting a little bit of black smoke. Like she's being choked too much. Choke back off. We'll rev it up. No choke, no choke, left up, run straight down. That choke, see it's spitting, that's what you want. 